Today we are going over exponential growth and decay. For exponential growth, we're going to have the following equation. And for exponential decay, we'll have this equation. When looking at both of these, they each have the same variables. And those variables are going to mean this. So A is going to be your final amount. P is going to be the initial amount. R will be the rate of change, and we're always going to have that as a decimal. So if they give you a percent, we're just going to divide it by 100. So if we had 5%, then we'd have 0, 0.0, 0 to 0.05. And T is going to be the time in years. If we are given an exponential growth uh, problem, like this, we would be able to plug this into the calculator exactly like this, and you'd be able to find your answer. In this case, the answer is now that was if we were solving for A. If we were going to end up solving for P, so we'll try this problem. First, we need to make this so we set the equation P equals whatever it is. So We'll divide both sides by that 1 plus 0 0.06 the fifth. Getting rid of it on the right side, and we have P equals 5,000 over that. And now, You'd be able to plug this into your calculator and get your answer. And in this case, that would be we are going to be continuing working with exponential growth and decay over the coming days. But this will be our stopping point for this video. If you have any questions, please reach out. Otherwise, we'll see you in class tomorrow.